Hello gamers, Softkitty99, I'm in Arathi Highlands and since the Warfront area is now opened there are lots of rare spawns that drop items in Arathi Highlands. Today let's take a look at the pets that can drop and you can see by my side Fosrook which is one of the new pets that drop in Arathi Highlands. Let's have a look at the pets that are available. So if you type in Arathi There's the Void Wiggler. Drops from Darbell Montrose. It's a magic pet with the moves Shadow Shock, Siphon Life, Curse of Doom, Arcane Explosion, Phase Shift and Soul Rush. The Teeny Tiny Orb drops from the Echo of Misrael. And it's one of those Construct Titan Orbs. It is again magic and it is Moves that is Surge of Light, Illusory Barrier, Flash, Solar Beam, Light and Restoration. The Squawkling, which is a buzzard, clusters flying, drops from the Manhunter Krog and his moves are Alpha Strike, Amplify Magic, Arcane Storm, Arcane Blast, Shriek and Arcane Explosion. Scabby is a little plague bear who drops from Yogursa, is a beast and his moves are Diseased Bite, Bash, Rabid Strike, Roar, Hibernate and Rampage. Rage Peep is like a moonkin owl, is listed as a beast and drops from Rage Beak. Rage Beak and Rage Peep, cute. His moves are Peck, Preen, Maul, Nature's Ward, Headbutt and Rampage. The Fuzzy Creepling drops from Venomorus. He is a fluffy spider which you will either find very cute or very scary depending on whether you have arachnophobia. He's a beast and his moves are Strike, Blinding Poison, Sticky Web, Poison Spit, Drain Blood and Spiderling Swarm. Foul Feather, another buzzard, is drops from Plague Feather, is flying of course, and his moves are Infected Claw, Rabid Strike, Flock, Peck, Black Claw and Consume. So he's got three death moves, even though he's not undead, he's got three undead moves. So that's quite an interesting one. Aldrusian Sproutling is a little tree. He's elemental and he drops from Branch Lord Aldrus. His moves are Scratch, Thorns, Photosynthesis, Iron Bark, Plant and Entangling Roots. And the final one is the Fosling, which drops from Fosrook. He's an elemental and he has the moves Crush, Stone Skin, Quake, Rock Barrage, Photosynthesis and Sunlight. And I was lucky enough to get this one doing the rares yesterday so we can have a little look at him. And there he is. I'm going to see if we can zoom in for you to see it a little bit closer. Let's just zoom in. There he is. There he is. Branch Lord Aldrus can be found in the northwest corner of Arathi Highlands. As you can see, he's a great big tree elemental. In fact, the first three of these all have a druid form a tree, a boonkin, and a bear. And they're in a little row down the western side of Arathi Highlands. I thought that was quite interesting. There's no cat though, so maybe it isn't a reference to the druids at all. Branch Lord Aldrus can drop the Al Aldrusian Sproutling pet, which is a small version of him. And here in this video you can see what happens when you don't actually have a tank in your group that's trying to kill him. He ends up chasing whichever person has the highest DPS around the area and ends up being kited, which means that the melee have to run after him chasing him and most of the time you can't actually hit him. 
He does die though, it's just a little bit of a messy fight and takes a little bit longer than it would have done if we'd have had a tank. So if you come in with a group of friends, make sure you've got a tank who can hold the aggro and keep the guys in place as you're fighting. But if you do have a lot of melee, be aware that he puts an area of effect down around his feet and if you don't get out of it fast, you end up getting stunned and it can take quite a bit of health off people, especially the tanks. Yeah, you can see the ground effect there, and as my heroic leap wasn't up, I couldn't get out of it in time. In the end, during this fight, at some point, I end up pressing the taunt button regardless, just because I'm so sick of trying to chase him around. It was quite funny, though, if you look at it, it's very funny. But it did still work, we still got him there. And he drops the Aldrusian Sproutling pet. And there in the background you can see the horde base to give you a little bit more reference and as you saw earlier in the fight you saw the wall which is quite close to that leads into the next zone let's head south along the wall to the next one Here you find Rage Beak. Here's his location, again close to the wall. He drops Rage Peep, which is again a mini version of himself. And at the moment you can see he's in what will be the Horde Lumber Camp, where the Horde own the zone. And when the Alliance lose the zone and the Horde gain the zone, I believe that he will move down further south into what is currently the Alliance Lumber Camp. So he'll be in different locations depending on who holds the zone. And he drops Rage Peep the pet. And there's the location again. And again, further south, there's a little rocky mound. And you will find here... Our bear. As you can see, he moves up and down across the front of where the rocks are and then up onto the rocks. He's a plague bear, his name is Yog Ursa, and he drops a mini version of himself called Scabby. A little cute scabby bear. Well, maybe not quite so cute because he's a plague ridden baby pet bear. So Yogur so who drops Scabby, a mini version of himself. And he hits quite hard and he stuns with whoever is tanking him quite quickly and quite often. And at this point I'm gonna die. Because I'm an arms warrior, not a tank, and there wasn't a healer there, so that didn't quite work out too well for me. But anyway, let's run back and get back into the fight. And luckily for me there, a tank joins the fight, which means I'm not going to be the one that gets wailed on by the big bear that hits really hard. So as I say, he wanders up and down the path up onto the rocky area and then across the front of it. So he doesn't wander very far, but he does path up and down a little bit. So that's Yogursa and he drops Scabby, the little bear. And again, you can see the wall in the background, so all three of those are along the wall. So if you go up and down, quite close to the wall, you'll see where their markers are, so you'll find them quite easily. And here you can see Plague Feather. He drops the pet Foul Feather. They're both buzzards. You see the tree there on the hill. Plague Feather patrols around and around the tree, so he's quite easy to find. And you can see Stronghold Keep in the background. And unfortunately, I managed to mess up my recording, so I only got the beginning of the fight. But this is Plague Feather. He patrols around the tree and he drops the pet Foul Feather.
Here we have Manhunter Rog and his faithful trusty pet Squawk. And he will drop a pet bird that looks like Squawks and is called the Squawkling. And it does again look like Squawk. I thought that was a nice touch to have Squawk with the uh, elongated R oh, ah, sound in the Squawk. So that's Manhunter Rog and his faithful pet Squawk that dropped the Squawkling. Next we have Darbell Montrose that drops the pet Void Wiggler. You can find a Darbell in a little house just north of the Derby farmstead. And the place is guarded by mercenaries so watch out when you land that you don't get attacked by too many of them all at once. You'll find Darbell Montrose that drops Void Wiggler in the house just north of the Darby farmstead and I will show you the map just at the end of the fight. As you can see this one I soloed on my arms warrior so she's one of the ones that has the less health. And there you can see the Darby farmstead and there's the map. And here we have our great big scary spider Venomorus that drops a tiny cute fuzzy spider called the Fuzzy Creepling. So Venomorus that drops the Fuzzy Creepling. The Fuzzy Creepling is a mini version of Venomorus. So he's a little green spidey. And if you stood right in front of this great big spider as it tries to attack you with its front legs and its fangs kind of lift up and come down on top of you. That's actually quite scary and if you're afraid of spiders I don't think you're going to like it if you're the tank on this one. And he has got quite a lot of health. You can see there's quite a few people here fighting him. Probably about five, five or six people maybe fighting him and his health as you can see is creeping slowly down. You can find him just north of the Goshek farm. There isn't any particular landmark, he's just on a little grassy area wandering around. He doesn't wander too far though so and he's quite big so he's quite easy to see from the air. As I say slightly north of, north of Goshek farm in the grassy bit. And that's Venomorus and he drops the Fuzzy Creepling. I don't have a target. Our final pet drops here from the Echo of Misrael and the pet is called the Teeny Titan Orb and as you can gather it's going to look like a little Titan Orb. The Echo of Misrael is slightly different to all of the others in that this one has prerequisites to be summoned. In order to summon the Echo of Misrael you will have to kill four cresting elementals that you can be found around Arachne Highlands. There is a fire one, a earth one, a water one and an air one. They're all quite clearly marked on the map because you can see stone ruins marked on the map. So you've got standing stone markings on the map in five locations around the map. One of them is where e the Echo of Misrael will be. The other four are where the Cresting Elementals will be. So you kill each of the four Cresting Elementals and that then will summon the Echo of Misrael for you to come and kill. 
At the moment, there's so many people out there killing things that you can just wait for her to spawn. Later, when there's a lot less people doing it, you will have to make sure that you kill all four elementals if she's not up in order to make sure she does kill. As I said, the Echo of Mizrael will drop the Teeming Titan Orb. The four cresting elementals that you can kill all drop a small one-time use crystal which will summon a companion to help fight with you for 10 minutes. You can only use these in Arathi Highlands but they can be a useful buff if your group is having difficulty killing one or more of the mobs in the area because they'll add a little bit of DPS to the group for you. So it's a nice little flavour buff. And that is all of the pets that can be found in Arathi Highlands. Good luck in your farming for the pets that you want to collect. And don't forget, all of these rares can also drop item level 340 gear. So it's a good idea to kill them all anyway, just to get you that little buff to your item level. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. From Savkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!